There are a lot of ideas that cross between music and architecture. One of the most basic, of course, is the idea of structure. For example, a building is divided into rooms. A piece of music is divided into sections. Fast music in this part of the piece, slow music in that part of the piece, and so forth. At the heart of architecture, when thinking about the structure of a building, is the idea that we inhabit space, and not actually the walls or the doorways that shape it. Architects divide up space into concepts of positive and negative. Now, they don't mean good or bad, but something more like formed and random. And in general, positive or formed spaces are almost always preferred by people for lingering, for dwelling, for social interaction, while negative spaces tend to promote movement rather than staying in one place. Think about the concert hall that you're sitting in now. It is positively delineated from the rest of the building you are in, shaped in such a way that it helps you to feel settled, somewhere where you can sit down and focus and listen. The point is that the negative element of a space is just as important as the positive, and this is key to the piece I've written for tonight's concert. Take the opening of the work. It's a strong, positive element, a sort of unison melody line between all of the instruments. It is presented really very clearly, almost as if there's no space around it at all. It's just this thing. And the story of this piece is the way that this thing, this melody, travels through different spaces. One of the really great things about music, and in particular about contemporary music, is that you can place really very different sorts of spaces right next to each other. So the melody starts and opens and it's just this thing. But suddenly it sort of walks out into this large open space and just fractures open into all directions. But then, just as suddenly, the notes of the melody are all taken up and stacked on top of each other. It's this really compact sort of a space. No movement. Just the chord repeating with these little grace note iterations. So you can see that as this melody travels into one space or another, it really changes shape and structure and form and purpose. And the idea here is that that's meant to be a reflection on us, because we're really the same, aren't we? We're different if we're wearing a suit in an office with bright lights and low ceilings and glass windows that everyone can see through than if we're at that fancy dress party in a house with little rooms and low lighting and everything just a little bit more intimate and hidden. It's a wonderful aspect of life that we inhabit different places very differently. And so that's really the story of this piece, the journey of this melody, this thing given to you right at the beginning, and hopefully something you can hang on to and hear, like a line pulling you right through the work into each of its nuanced transformations and each of its resonating rooms. <laughs>